Hola, mi gente. Welcome back to NAZ Today. I'm your sports reporter, Jasmine Navarrete. The Flagstaff girls volleyball team is dominating the court. The Eagles are undefeated with a record of 7-0. And despite losing star player outside hitter Junior Grace Liness to an ankle injury, the team is holding up just fine. The key to this success, you may ask, family. It's hard to have a bad moment on the court with this team. We've always just been like super close and we always mesh well together and um, we're just always happy when we're on the court together. Senior outside hitter Ainsley Thomas is happy with the team's chemistry. Thomas admits losing teammate junior outside hitter Grace Liness was a hard adjustment, but learning to play without her has opened new opportunities for other players on the team. It's, it, was, it was hard at first. Um, we had a couple practices where things were just a little bit weird because we're so used to having her strong presence on the outside, but we've adjusted really well just putting in different people in positions that they're not really used to, and they've ended up doing really, really well in those positions. So it's it's new, but it's really good. Head coach Beth Haglin could not be more proud of her girls. They have stepped up their game during a difficult time, but most importantly, they have remained united. We have one player go down, which, you know, if you take, take Graceland, for example, she went down in Mingus and... The girls just stepped up and they played hard and they pulled together and were strong. And that's what families do. When adversity hits, they, they get stronger. Thomas has taken on that leadership role. She is averaging five kills per game. And as co-captain, she is focused on living up to their team mantra. We have a saying where it's be a fountain, not a drain. So don't drain the energy from your team. Be a fountain and expel the energy that you have. So I always just try to have as much energy as possible and be happy for every player on the team. This team's success is centered on the idea of family. They hope to continue to support one another as they make their way to a championship run. Family is what makes a team strong. Northland Preparatory Academy soccer program has a unique dynamic. The two co-head coaches, Michael Blair and Keith Hovis, have been friends for years. And their team is a family affair as each of their daughters Seniors Kiara Hovis and Mia Blair are also on the team. This is their last season together, and the girls could not be more grateful for the memories. They'll stay after and talk with each other for so long. <laughs> or like on Zoom or they'll calls. Or will be on calls with each other. They'll be talking to someone for like two hours every day. I'm like, who are you talking to? And he's like, oh, Michael. And I'm like, oh, you know, the bromance. <laughs> like, it's just for real. Hovis and Blair started coaching together seven years ago. Aside from sharing the same birthday and the passion for the game, the love they have for their daughters keeps their bromance alive. With our girls, we definitely uh, um, talk about a lot of girl things since I have six and he has three. So we got plenty of... Uh, girls to talk about and um, yeah we share that in common and, and uh, um, just the passion for the game. Both coaches love being girl dads. Coach Blair has two other daughters on the team and for his oldest senior forward striker Mia Blair there's nothing sweeter than sharing these moments with her dad. It's just been really great uh, especially through high school to have him as my coach it's just been an incredible experience from day one um, and just having him live this part of life with me. It seems that Blair and Hovis' friendship has rubbed off on their daughters. Kiara and Mia are inseparable. They haven't played together since their freshman year after each player endured knee injuries the past two years. Now they are cherishing their last season on the field together, doing what they do best, scoring. It's interesting, both her and Kiara both had an ACL in different years, and I think that really, in a crazy way, helped them really just love the game even more. Now that they're back, they're just hungry. And you can see this year how hungry they are that they're not going to be stopped. Kiara and Mia call each other the dynamic duo. They know they can rely on each other on and off the field. But there's a different sense of comfort when they're on the field together. Literally, I don't understand how, how we do it and how she knows my brain. But like if I'm running this way, she'll go that way. And we just like overlap and underlap all the time. And on the field, I just think that we're super connected. It's like going back to the comfort zone of something you've always been around. It's just like coming home. Mm -hmm. Being their last season, they could not be more grateful. Their dads have been there every step of the way, guiding them and supporting them through the good and the bad. For Coach Hovis, there's no better feeling than winning with his daughter. Four state championships is kind of crazy. It's an exciting thing that you win with your daughter, for sure. The girls will continue to make more memories as Spartans are undefeated this season and are looking to get their fifth championship title. That's all I have for sports, but don't go anywhere. There's more after the break. 